Sorry, I was just sort of like thinking. This is the second to last one of these I'm going to be doing. Hmm. Bizarre, isn't it? Well, uh, I guess I get to my low, my high, my active kindness. My low is I was actually trying to clean my apartment and I wanted to get some dirt on my shirt. That's why it looks like I have a giant, this is really like water that, you know, I tried to, you know, wash off, whatever. Got some dirt on my shirt. So, yep. Got some dirt on my shirt. It did not hurt. Um, physically anyway. Um, my high was, you know, I had a nice evening myself last night. Got myself some Rita's. You know, a nice, uh, got myself some you know, dinner, you know, I had the meat, potatoes, and veggies and stuff. It was great. It was nice. And, you know, I got up super early this morning, made myself a little something for tomorrow when I get back from Pico Lake. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, honestly, I have some business in, in the, the city of Corning this morning. <laughs> I'm making stuff rhyme all day, aren't I? So... I'm not really going to be at Kegel Lake that long. I mean, I'll be up there for the night, but that's about the long and short of it. But, you know, I'll still have a nice evening regardless. I'll be with my dad. You know, it'll be, it'll be cool. Sort of like uh, a guy's night up there. So, yeah. It'll be, uh, it'll be really nice. Um, my act of kindness was I wound up doing some things for my grandmother yesterday before uh before she because on Friday night she and my grandfather like to uh go out for a, a nice dinner at Sorge's. So yeah. Oh yesterday was a pretty pretty good Friday. I mean it wasn't anything like earth shattering or anything, but you know it's just this is a typical Friday. A good Friday. Not that good Friday, but this is a good Friday. Anyway, um, good morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. So, you guys are probably wondering, I've talked at length about many of the classes I've taken throughout my time in horse ads, right? And of all those things, um, well, for starters, I do need to make one quick correction about, um, you know, I used to talk about choir. Seriously, there's more to talk about choir. Who knew? Well, there is one thing I did miss. And when I was in horse Sense, there actually was an all-female acapella group called Contrary Motion. I just didn't talk about it because, I mean, well, look at me. I'm a dude. It's kind of the choir I shouldn't be in. Because again, this was an all girls acapella group. But I thought I should, you know, bring that up. I keep thinking, it was weird. I tried saying, trying to think if I can remember. Like, that was the one thing I forgot to talk about. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I did everything. But, um, no, but let's talk about the classes we're going to talk about this week. And, believe it or not, I have to talk about this class because this was a class I took at horse heads. And, you know, it was a really important class that we all have to take in school. And it's something that affects all of our lives to this very day. And that is health class. Yep. I had to take health class when I was at horse heads. Now, as you can imagine, with health class, you know, we went through all the important stuff, like we learned about various different kinds of drugs. There's actually one sort of thing where we got to go outside and there's a, there's like this little, um, sort of, like sort of doll or machine ever where you can take a cigarette and we had, we had, and we were off campus for this because we were allowed to do this. And we were supervised by a teacher, obviously, where like, uh, you put a lit cigarette in, like, the little doll's mouth, you squeeze, like, the lungs, it inhales it, and, like, the inside of the lungs gets dirty, and that's apparently what cigarettes are supposed to do. I mean, needless to say, it was because of a class like this. I told myself long ago, 
I was going to try and stay away from, you know, stuff like smoking and alcohol and, you know, you know, cocaine, all those things. Because, really, I don't need to enjoy those things. I don't need to have those things in my life to enjoy it. I know. I just, I mean, funny enough, I actually learned this quote from Family Guy of all places. If you really want to be high, it's as easy as being yourself. And that's actually true. I mean, I've enjoyed life countless times. And there wasn't any alcohol involved, or, you know, tobacco, or marijuana, or any of those things. It was just me. Just being me. And that's really all, that's really all I needed. Although, I think it's time I sort of stopped beating around this particular bush. <laughs> no pun intended. You'll see why in a second. Now, when I first started making videos, way back in 2018, I gave myself some rules as to how I go about doing it. As, you know, if you're going to make videos every day, yeah, I give yourself some rules. With, you know, if, and you break those rules if there is an exception involved or stuff like that, right? One of those rules I gave myself is I would try not to use vulgar language or curse words or anything like that. And yes, I have used them on camera before, I admit to that. But, you know, I would at least give a warning before I use it or at the very least, if it felt like I just couldn't not say anything, you know, stuff like that. But for the most part, I think I've been pretty good about keeping the vulgar language to a bare minimum. In fact, no kidding, I think it may be a full, well, technically no, I guess there's a certain day of the year I always save uh, one particular day for using curse words, but there's a, um, there's a reason for that. It's, it's December 14th, but that's another, that's out of here or there. My point is, there are some words I told myself that unless under extreme circumstances, I would never say. Here's the thing though. There are some words that are only considered bad words, quote unquote, because of the way that they're used most often, or for the sake of, you know, people being funny, or trying to be crass for the sake of being crass, or stuff like that. If you couldn't tell what I'm trying to get is, and how fast you had to learn about sex and human reproduction. Now, as you can imagine, if you're in school and you're with a bunch of teenagers, you hear some words, and it just makes you giggle or laugh because mm, you said that word. Uh. And don't get me wrong, at that age, it's fine to do that because you're a dumb kid. You don't know any better. But here's the thing. There are some words that are used in that way that are straight up used as medical terminology. So, full disclosure, I've never really had any problem or issue with saying words like penis or vagina on camera. The only reason why I never said those words up until now is because there wasn't a need to. Literally every single video up until this very point, the issue of saying words like, again, penis or vagina, it's never been brought up. But I really have never had any problem with saying them. It's just, there's just no need to say them. And I have no issue with saying them at all right now. And before any of you decide to think, oh, he said penis, he said vagina, ha <laughs> ha let's make fun. Think of it this way. Throughout this entire pandemic, we have been giving praise to no one else 
but the frontline workers, the nurses, the doctors, medical staff, you name it, we have been singing all their praises and rightfully so. Think about this. For those brave men and women to work in the medical profession, to be on the front lines, helping you, whether you have, whether you've had COVID or not, they had to learn those words as medical terminology. They had to buckle down, take it seriously and say, okay, these are important terms to know in order to help others in my medical profession. Again, be it a doctor, nurse, what have you. So before you go laughing at someone saying a word like penis or vagina, think about all the frontline medical staff who had to learn that stuff so they can do what they do to help you. Just a simple thought for going forward. Although it is really kind of nice I got that sort of thing out of the way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I only will use words like penis or vagina if there is a need for it, but there isn't. 99.9% of the time, there's never been a need to say any of those words. Seriously, 1,259 videos in and now I say them. I'd say that's a pretty good, I think it's a pretty good, you know, sort of consistent basis of whether I need to say them at all, right? I mean, Believe it or not, you know, you hear stuff like that on, like you watch stand-up comedy or in the movies, and you know, it's fun to watch and listen to. It can be funny, sure. But if there's no need to say them, don't say them. And if you're going to use them for the sake of comedy, do a little research first before actually using them. See, part of the thing about comedy is actually knowing what you're doing. That's why, I mean, don't get me wrong, stuff like timing is very important. And, you know, suffering is always a key factor in comedy. But to really understand comedy, doing a little research doesn't hurt. So, before you go laughing at words like penis or vagina or any sort of words involving them, do a little research for yourself. You might actually learn something useful. I know I have, but it really feels good to get that out of the way. Because again, I can say words like penis and vagina on camera, but I know for a fact I don't need to if I don't have to. Of course, I've only, I've only really, again, I've only been saying in this video because I can talk about that here in this particular subject. And, yeah, I am sort of, and don't, I don't want anyone to think I'm taking this lighthearted. I'm not. I'm actually taking this actually pretty seriously. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be crass or vulgar. I'm just, just talking into a camera that's on my phone to anyone on the internet who's watching this. And, in learning those words, you know, I was able to, you know, get through health class in high school. I, I actually had to learn those words to become a health science major at Gettysburg College. So, yeah. And, funny enough, no one was laughing in college. So, there you go. I'm glad I'm not the only one who knows how to take stuff like that seriously. What can I say? More often than not, the world can have better taste. So, in the end, I'm really glad I took health class. It, is, it really is a class that we need to pay attention to. I mean, it really is, as Lewis Black, well, keep in mind, we'll be paraphrasing Lewis Black here for obvious reasons, but health is really that border between living and dropping dead. Needless to say, I'd rather would be on the former side. Thank you very much. So, that's why, for the rest of my life, I'm gonna avoid doing stuff like drugs. If I see them, I see people, if I, keep in mind, 
ladies and gentlemen, if you do so, if you do smoke or stuff like that, you know, that's your problem. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to say, no, he's just simply, he or she is just simply, you know, smoking a cigarette or having a beer. That's fine. It's not bothering me. And it shouldn't really bother you either. Unless they're being completely obnoxious, but then it can bother you. But 99.9% of the time throughout my entire life, it's never bothered me. So I'm okay. And I hope you guys are all okay too. Like, favorite, hit the subscribe button, follow me on social platform, turn on videos on YouTube. I am very home in this video for all of you guys who watched the door today. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. You know what? I talked about the frontline workers. This video is dedicated to you guys. So, if you remember, if you want to talk, channel is going to be here at the London Inn. I'll always have your back. Take care. And as always, make good choices. Which goes into the final class and session video next weekend. See you there.